As Friday Night Lights are back, Harbor sets its sight on Powerhouse McKinney, Texas to open up their season. With this monumental task comes a 12-hour round trip, $70 million stadium, and an epic battle on the gridiron. If you'll have faith tonight, you'll stay focused on the task, and you're willing to get out of the boat and walk on water, we're going to be just fine. Yes, sir. And you can't have any doubts, can't sit in the boat and criticize. I want a bunch of guys that will walk on water. Football means in the state of Texas an everyday lifestyle. I mean, come on, you're in Texas. Everybody lives for Texas. It's Saturday. Everybody is here in McKinney representing McKinney. Very full, very active, very high energy, very loud, and just talk about spirit. Everybody is here to support one another, very happy. I mean, it's a Saturday. People are taking their time to come to McKinney and support football. The Wildcats departed at 10.30 a.m. for a round trip that totals 12 hours and 600 miles to face National Powerhouse McKinney, Texas. But for the Harbor Wildcats, this monumental endeavor has a deeper meaning. Yeah, the only thing you get out of it is experience from other teams. Like, you know, Texas high school football is legendary. And you come down here and you play a powerhouse in their own turf, you learn a lot really fast, and it just sets you up for later on down the road. I think we did it. We played pretty good at Tulsa, but there's always things you can fix. We, uh, we have to be a faster tempo. We have to shoot off the ball faster and not make any dumb penalties. We just got to work at practice this week to get better for next week. Wildcats have been anticipating this matchup for over two years now, and for senior wide receiver Peyton McKee, this is just a small testimony of what we can expect to see this conference season. We're going to surprise a lot of people. No one really expects us to be good. They uh, think we're small, but we got a lot of fineness, and we're going to surprise some people. The Wildcats fall short tonight, 28-35, to but it is the first game of the season, and let this be a testimony to the incredible season yet to come. Next week, WCSN will cover the powerhouse North Little Rock as we take them on at North Little Rock. For WCSN, I'm Connor Jenkins.